I'm Mike Stewart with Wild Rose Kennels, and this is Indian, my adventure dog and upland hunting companion. You know, we've been on the trail a long time, and now we're starting to see a new challenge out there, steel traps. Different types of traps, snare traps, cone bear traps. You see fur prices are up, dramatically up over years past. So the fur trappers are back. And your dog could become entrapped in one of these things if you don't take appropriate precautions out in the field and keep your dog under control. Let's take a look at some of the things that we can do to keep our dog out of trouble to begin with, prevention, and if it does occur, how to get your dog out of the trap and provide medical assistance. Heal up. Whoa, the dangers of the trail. First time you run into one of these, you don't want to find this around your dog's leg. This is a steel trap, likely set for a coyote or a fox. It has a drag line, it's not anchored, so the animal can run with it. You see this track is exactly where an animal might traffic, up and down, looking for food or water. And this is where a trap might be set. How we're gonna prevent this is to keep your dog under control. First, keep your dog on lead. Have a lead available, keep the dog at heel, and he's not likely going to go wandering off. This is where you can get in trouble. But what if that doesn't work? Let's take a look at how you're gonna get your dog out of a trap and provide first aid. Okay, we located our dog. His foot is in the trap. He's probably gonna be trapped somewhere along in here. What happens, the dog smells the scent, scratches or paws at it, snap. The trap grabs his foot. The way you're gonna release the dog is with these two pressure points right here on either side of the trap. Step on one side, step on the other, and just lift your dog's leg completely free of the trap. It may not be wise to reach down and immediately try to treat the dog or release the dog from the trap until you muzzle the dog. You could result in a dog bite. Here's what to do if you don't care around a dog muzzle with you. It's very easy, just take your lead, slide it out, wrap it around the dog's muzzle. Have it come from underneath, like so, and tighten it down. Run the lead behind your dog's head, underneath, back underneath again, over the muzzle, and secure. Now you'll notice with this trap that we removed Indian from has no serrated teeth. So it is a smooth trap, so it doesn't likely gonna cut the dog unless he's been fighting. Let's approach it from two angles. You do have some lacerations and you need to treat it. I use a small kit that the dog carries in his pack. This is my large kit, so I'll be working from it and just showing you some tips. Taking a look at our kits, this is the one that comes from the backpack. Basically, I carry an iodine solution in here, hydrogen peroxide, saline solution, vet wrap, and gauze. That's just about it. The little infused saline solution can clean out the wound. I do not use hydrogen peroxide if they're going to require sutures. Once the wound is cleaned, take your 7% iodine scrub, scrub it well, take gauze, wrap the foot, and then come back around with vet wrap that doesn't stick, it sticks to itself, vet wrap to keep the foot wound clean on your way out. And if you think the dog may have a broken foot, then seek medical treatment for an x-ray as soon as possible. Don't let the influx of trappers keep you off the trail. Just think a little bit ahead, take precautions, keep your dog out of heavy cover, and you should have a great time on the trail and have no encounters with the nasty traps that could be hidden in the brush.